Preacher, Season 2, Episode 5. Man, I don't know about this show anymore. They just do so much weird stuff in here that I can't tell if it's good or if it's great or if it's just a lot of weird stuff that looks great and has interesting premises. That's good. This is probably my least favorite episode of Preacher in a, since the first season. I mean, I don't know how much I can talk about this and be positive because nothing's happened. Honestly, nothing's happened in this entire season. We've traveled to New Orleans. We've met Yurik. What's his name? It's not even close to fucking Yurik. The angel guy. We met him. And Lafleur, LeBlanc? DeBlanc? Who the f- uh. We met him. And we traveled to New Orleans. We met Victor. Victor's married to Tulip. And now Jesse just... This entire episode, Jesse just beats everyone up and keeps Victor alive because he wants Tulip back. Now this is this isn't the worst episode I've ever seen of television. I just didn't enjoy it because I don't care anymore. Nothing's happened. Let's move our story along. We spent a long time in New Orleans. I get that. I can understand it's a big deal. This whole thing with Tulip's a big deal. There are parts of this episode I did really like. And that's the stuff in the past when we see Jesse and Tulip after they lose the baby and they're trying again to get their life back together. Tulip says she's got a job in realty. Whatever the hell Jesse does, does he just sit on the couch all day and drink beer and watch tennis and John Wayne films or, you know, that stuff was cool. I love the hair they gave Jesse because it, it, it just feels like a guy who's broken down and looks like he doesn't have anything left. I liked that a lot. And I did like the relationship that Tulip and Jesse had in the past. You can tell that she started to do more and want to make money and have the baby. And Jesse just wanted to make her happy. And I really thought that was exactly like the relationship now, I think. And I really do appreciate that. And I like that. And I believed it, too. There's some great stuff we saw there. Whoever the hell Reggie was, I liked that because he was like their Cassidy in the past. That was really cool. I really, I really liked Cassidy in this episode. There was something about him where every time he's on screen, he just steals the show. And that's a good that's a sign of a good character. It's also a sign of a great written character, too. Every scene that Cassie was in this episode, he seemed the most level headed and rational. Because every scene of Jesse, he was just like, I'm angry, I'm gonna beat the hell out of Victor, I'm gonna kill him, do whatever I can to hurt him. And he knows that that's not gonna help him with Tulip, but he doesn't care anymore. He's just so pissed that she lied to him and all that kind of stuff. And Tulip just Wants everything to go back to normal, but it can't. And I I like that dynamic between the three of them. And Cassidy just found this way to make both of them calmer and understanding. And I love Cassidy's conversation with Jesse near the end of the episode where he's like, I don't care what you do. You can kill Victor. You cannot. I'll be on your side, Padre. I'm with you till the end. I really like that. And that whole spiel where, you know, Jesse says, can I trust you? Can I trust a vampire? And I, I loved everything about that. Those two, I can sense a bromance, and I do like that. And I just want that to grow and flourish and do all this kind of stuff. It's really great to see really beautiful stuff happening here. This wasn't a bad episode. I, I, I know it sounds like I hate it, and I think it's a bad episode. It, it was still good, but it just felt flat for me because it was pretty like nothing happened this episode. We have to start moving the plot along. We, I mean, we've seen the past. I liked seeing the past, seeing how Tulip got to be with Victor. I liked that stuff. I like that we see Jesse decides when he can go back to Anvil. And that's, uh, that was, that, I actually really liked that. You can see Jesse said, we can change our lives here. Why do you want to go back to Danny? Why should we go back there? It's wrong. We're good people. And he decides he's going to be a preacher again. I liked all that stuff. I thought it worked and I thought it made sense. And you know what? I'm really excited to see where that story goes. And if we see more in the past and if we see how Jesse first gets there, I'm really excited to see that. Um, I don't know. This it just kind of nothing really happened. I don't know what else to say. Like we saw a Comic-Con trailer this past day to see what's coming up next. And that stuff looks exciting. That looks really fun. But this episode wasn't. <laughs> you know, I don't even sound enthused talking about it. It was just kind of dull. And yeah, I I hope we get something good happening because yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm just I'm not I'm not starting to lose interest in the show. I'm just starting to be like, can we get somewhere? Can we do something? Because this show is a lot of build, and when it builds, it builds great. Oh yeah, the the Saint of Killers shows up and 
fucking kills Victor and everybody. That was cool. Little girl was cool too. I forgot. And I wasn't. See, it was just I was like so out of it by the end of the episode. I didn't care what happened. Yeah, that, that's what I got for you guys this this episode of Preacher. So let me know what you think of this episode. I'll catch you in the next video. Good luck.